Hi guys, you'll never guess what happened. Oh my god, did you fall from the roof? Oh. No. Were you run over by a duck? Right up your hairy ah! Ooh. No. Did you go skydiving and your parachute didn't open? Fun and dangerous, but no. I worked from home yesterday and I forgot my ergonomic keyboard here at the office. Hi Digmates! In this video, we'll go over three potential injuries caused by typing for an extended period of time. And of course, we'll also share some tips and recommendations to prevent them. The first injury we'll talk about is carpal tunnel syndrome. This is one of the most common and painful injuries you can get from using a keyboard. But what is carpal tunnel anyway? It's a ligament that sits on top of the median nerve. Carpal tunnel injury results from a lot of pressure on the median nerve. This happens when you extend your wrists for long periods of time, like when you're typing. If the pressure goes on for several hours a day, several days a week, it can lead to pain, loss of sensation in the fingers, and weakness of the hand. Another common injury is RSI or repetitive strain injury. Our body is designed to naturally move our upper limbs up and down like when walking. When you type on a regular keyboard, your hands are usually pronated. In doing so, you tighten the flexor muscles and tendons connected from your elbows to your wrists. You also deviate your wrists whenever you reach the outer keys, like backspace or enter. And it gets even worse if you're seated far from the keyboard. When you type for hours a day, you repeat the same movements over and over. And if you do it in this unnatural position, it can lead to pain in the muscles and tendons of your elbow, wrist, or hand. Finally, the last kind of injury is the trigger finger. A trigger finger happens when the tendon can't glide smoothly in the sheath surrounding it. This occurs if part of the tendon sheath becomes swollen or a small lump forms on the tendon. As a result, the finger becomes locked or stuck in a bent position. It's often accompanied by a click or pop sound whenever you straighten it. The ring fingers and thumbs are the most commonly affected. That's my girl. Anyway, to help prevent those injuries, here are some tips and recommendations. Tip one, avoid the night of the living dead posture. Don't reach out to the keyboard like a zombie or a cordyceps. Move closer to your desk. Also, adjust the height of your chair to ensure your elbows are roughly at a 90 degree angle with your forearms parallel to the table and your wrists at a neutral angle. You might need a wrist rest to achieve that depending on your keyboard. Changing to a more natural position can help reduce strain on your wrists and forearms and alleviate the pressure from the median nerve. Tip two, take micro breaks. One minute breaks once or twice an hour are enough to rest your arms and hands. Just walk around the office, go for a nice cup of tea, chat with your colleagues or get a snack. Tip three, Use a fully split keyboard. A fully split keyboard will allow you to adjust the sides to align your wrists with your forearms. This will open up your chest and push your shoulders back so you keep your back straight. Tip four, put a negative tilt on your keyboard. To avoid wrist extension, your fingers should be straight with your forearms. This is easily achieved by reverse tilting your keyboard. Most keyboards have legs to have positive tilting, but we want reverse tilting. You can achieve this by having the top of the keyboard lower than the bottom. Tip five, tent your keyboard. If you want to avoid hand pronation, you can use a keyboard with tenting. This will help you adopt a more natural posture and reduce the risk of chronic pain or injuries. If you want more information on tenting, you can check out this wonderful video. Tip six, make sweet love, not war, to your keyboard. It's not a typewriter, so you don't need to attack it when typing. Be gentle with it. One light touch can do so much. Tip seven, keep your friends close and your mouse even closer. 
With the split keyboard, you can place your mouse in the middle, reducing unnecessary hand movements. That simple relocation can alleviate the strain on your fingers, wrists, arms, and shoulders. Now that you're more well-informed, why not go a step further and learn a few desk exercises you can do whenever you feel like getting up and doing something other than work. Do the Spider-Man. Spread your fingers gradually and contract them as if squeezing a stress ball. Do five reps with palms up and five with palms down. Do the I don't care, or in Spanish, no me importa, or in Ilongo, I'm bora. This is quite self-explanatory. Sit straight, elevate your shoulders behind you, and hold for 30 seconds. Do the Spider-Man 2. This time, gently hold your hand with the palm facing outward, and do this for 30 seconds. Then do the same exercise, but this time with your palm facing towards you. Do the I'm flying, Jack. For your last exercise, be like Rose in Titanic. <laughs> Extend your arms parallel to the floor and slowly move them as close to your shoulders as possible. Now pull your shoulder blades down and back and hold for three seconds. I'm sure that with these tips and recommendations, you can prevent injury. Guys, you'll never guess what happened. What? Keep your friends close and... Shit! <laughs> da -da -da. Angrier! I'm angry, they can't get angrier. Okay, that's fine. <laughs>